What's up guys, in today's ClickUp tutorial we are going to go over everything needed so that you guys will actually know how to use ClickUp. Now ClickUp is the go-to tool when it comes to anything related to project management. So no matter if you just want to manage your personal to-do list or if you do want to manage full-on teams, ClickUp is going to be the best option out there. ClickUp does have a super strong free forever plan which I would recommend you to go for if you are just starting out. And by the way I will also leave you a link to ClickUp in the description down below. Once you're signed up you will have to go through some simple questions, I'm just going to skip through these as these aren't really that important. Actually we can also just skip this because we are going to delete this workspace and rather start from scratch. So this is going to be how the ClickUp dashboard is now going to look like. On the left you are going to see an overview of all of the different sections. On the top right you can see your personal profile and you are also then going to see the quick action menu as well as other shortcuts which you can then actually use. Now to get started I will actually delete this space right here just so that we are going to have a better overview on how to actually create these spaces and how to manage them. We can now move forward by creating a new space from scratch. Now to do so we will have to first of all understand the hierarchy of ClickUp. As you can see right here on top we basically do have our workspace. This would be the general overview of our whole account and this is just going to be a broad view of our project and then underneath that we do have different kind of spaces. These spaces represent different kind of teams, departments, groups and so on inside your project. Now in this case we can for example name this engineering and we can then actually also customize the icon as well as the name of this. So I'm just going to change this. Now ClickUp does actually also offer tons of different templates which you can definitely take advantage of. They do have templates for spaces but also for other types like folders, lists and so on which we are going to go over later on. For now I'm just going to continue and we will have to get started by defining a workflow. Now in this case I'm just going to change this to project management and like this, this will then automatically change the default views, task statuses as well as click apps. However, let's actually go in depth into this. First of all we do have the default view. Right here you are basically going to see all of the different ways of displaying your project and your tasks. You are going to for example have the list, you are going to have the calendar view, activity view, table view and so on. Then you can actually also change the default view templates if you do want to, but I'm not going to change that right now. I'm actually going to opt out of this. Right here we can then actually also change the task statuses. Now this is really important, I would actually recommend you to customize this. And you are also going to have different templates right here on the left. For example for content this is going to be different as for Kanban, marketing and so on. However actually I would recommend you to simply just add all of the statuses on your own so that you are going to have a customized workflow later on and so that everything is going to make sense for you guys. It's also important that you are going to have three different categories. First of all the not started category, the active category as well as the done and closed category. Category. So I'm just right now going to apply all of the changes and then I'm going to just save this. Now as for click apps right here, basically with this we can add different kind of add-ons onto our project which is super neat. I will just leave this at the default and we can now actually create our space. So right now we are going to get started with the list view. However you can actually always change the view of your project. By using this thing right here on top you are going to have multiple different views and you can actually also always add other views onto your basically onto your project. So right here this for example would be the mind map view. So I'm actually going to change back to the list view and let me now show you how to actually add your first task onto ClickUp. Now to do so just put in your task name right here and then we can actually save this and now we are going to have this available. However sometimes it's also useful to actually add subtasks onto your task. To do so simply just use this icon right here and then we can actually put in subtasks for these exact tasks right here. Now we can then actually also add the assignee onto this. In this case only I am available. If you do want to add new team members you can do so by using the invite button right here on the bottom left. Now in this case we are also going to have the due date available as well as the priority. However let's for example say that you do want to add some more fields onto your task. You can easily do this by simply just heading over to customize and by then actually clicking on fields right here. 
Now, as you can see, by default, these three fields are going to be activated. However, you can actually also add other pre-med fields, or you can actually also create a new field completely from scratch. You are going to have all sorts of different types of data which you can actually use. So, for example, you could just use labels, numbers, dates, text, drop down. You can, for example, use the email function right here. You can actually also add the location and much more. So, let's, for example, just say that we are going to add a label onto this. And in this case, I'm just going to name this niche. Okay, this would just be an example. We can now actually also put in a smiley and we can then actually also set the description. So let's, for example, say that we are going to have different kind of niches. In this case, I'm just going to add a doctor niche. Then I'm going to add a YouTube niche. I don't know, as well as a general lawyer niche. Okay, <laughs> this would just be an example. Obviously, you would have to customize this depending on your likings. You can then also change the color of each of these labels right here. So I'm just going to change this uh, accordingly to the different kind of uh, label and I'm now simply just going to create these. Now these are going to show up right here and we can then actually assign the correct niches in our case onto these subtests and basically we can just use this to further organize our project. We can then also change the view so let's for example change it to board and we can now actually right here also see our task listed and we can now actually drag this around and this will then actually also be automatically updated across all of the different views available. You can then for example also change the status right here. So if you do want to change this you can also do that right inside here. Now additionally inside our engineering space right here you can then actually see the list. This is going to be the one which we have just created and this is just going to be a general overview of all of the different tasks inside your space. Additionally, you can actually also create another space if you do want to. With the free plan, you are going to get five free spaces. So actually, I would recommend you to just stick to five if you do not want to pay for ClickUp. Now, actually, ClickUp also does offer a lot of other great features, like for example, their docs option. This is great to, for example, put in project notes. We can then, for example, put in a link to video files and you can actually also further customize this by using the slash command and as you can see, right here you are then going to have tons of different options uh, when it comes to basically putting in your data we can for example add buttons onto this we can then actually also sorry let me open this up we can actually also add tables uh, and we can then put in different kind of data points and so on i think you'll get the point either way this in my opinion is a great feature then you are also going to have timesheet clips as well as the general dashboard. This dashboard is basically just made so that you are going to see a general overview of all of the different tasks and so on inside all of your spaces. So if you for example are going to create a simple dashboard right here, we can then actually select all of the spaces which we do want to actually have on here and we can then see all of the data in depth and this kind of works as a general overview. Additionally, as already mentioned, if you do want to create new stuff, you can do so by clicking on create new and you can then create new lists, docs, forms, as well as whiteboards. Additionally, you can just use any of the great templates of ClickUp. So let's for example say that we do want to add an action plan onto our uh, space. So I'm just going to use the template. I'm now going to actually name this action plan and let's now actually just use this. And as you can see, now we are going to have this action plan available and we can now actually use this to actually basically process all of the data inside our ClickUp. Now, as I haven't really added any real data, this isn't going to show anything right here. But either way, these templates are super useful if you are just starting out with ClickUp. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a general overview on how ClickUp works. Once again, if you guys do want to sign up to ClickUp, I will leave you my link down below. And as always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below.